Hey everybody, this is Phil with Authors Insider Club. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create footnotes using our Kindle template. Now this works whether you're on Microsoft Word for Mac or the PC. And I'm going to show you how to do that quickly and easily. Now in this video, I'm actually using Word for the Mac. The menu will be a little bit different for the PC and I'll explain that as we go. But it's really simple to create footnotes using our template in Word and it works great on the Kindle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, let's say you wanna make a footnote here uh, where it says Kindle. So I would just put my mouse cursor right after that word Kindle. And then here on the Word version of Mac, I would click Insert and then Footnote. Now if you're on the PC, this will also depend on what version of Word you're using. You know, every version is a little bit different, but for example, on the PC, version of Mac, the t like the 2010 version, instead of clicking insert footnote, you would click on references and then insert footnote. So the menu may be different based on which version you're using, but it'll either be insert and then footnote, or you go to the references tab and then insert footnote. Okay. So again, we put our mouse where we want our footnote and I'll click insert footnote. And then you can choose if you want it at the bottom of the page or right beneath the text. I do recommend you have it at the bottom of the page. And then uh, I usually keep it in the number format. So I don't change anything here. And then I just click insert. Now that automatically made at the bottom, I've already done one footnote and that automatically made a second footnote right here. So now I could just type in, you know, whatever my footnote is. I'll do that real quick. And now we have that footnote, okay? And next to our Kindle word here, we have that little number two identifying that there is a footnote. So that's how easy it is to do footnotes. Now we're gonna go one step further and kind of take this into overdrive and show you how to actually make that footnote clickable. Because, you know, look, if you're on the Kindle, why not make it easy? Uh, so we'll make it so people can actually click that little number two and uh, go right to that footnote. So there's two steps to make it clickable. Step one is to highlight the footnote that you want to be clickable and then click on insert and then bookmark, insert bookmark. And then you want to name it, you want to give it a name. And uh, so I would just name it footnote two in this case. And you need to remember what you, what you name it because you're going to use that in the next step and you don't use any spaces or capitals or anything. So I'm just gonna name this footnote two and click add. So that is now footnote two. Then we come back up here to the actual little number two right there and we highlight it with our mouse. And then we click on insert and then hyperlink, insert hyperlink. And then you wanna look for where it says anchor right there. And then this is where we type in whatever we named our bookmark and in this case we named it footnote 2 and then click OK. Now that little uh, number 2 is clickable so if we click on it boom it takes us right to the footnotes area and that's all there is to it. So again to create footnotes it's as simple as just clicking on insert and footnote or if you're on the PC version click on references add footnote and then you can make them clickable if you want to, or you don't have to do that. You could leave them unclickable and they'll show up at the bottom of the page. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know and check back with our blog and YouTube channel because we'll be doing a lot more videos on how to publish, market, promote, and sell more books.